morning began almost as any other. The clear sky, cold breeze, and the rising sun from the east paints the blue sky yellow, sending the darkness to its den. But at St. Helena Legio Maria Church, it is a holy Sabbath. And everyone has to conform to the norms. The house of Mary or Nyumbaya Maria stands symbolic at the far corner in this holy land. Maurice Amani, one of the deacons, confirms that the house is reserved for special functions. It is used as a dressing room for the holy men of Legio Maria, serves as a store for the priest's gown, as well as a healing sanctuary. <laughs> Faithfully varying life burdens converge here seeking the intervention of the Holy Mary for a breakthrough in their daily life problems. <laughs> Like the Roman Catholic Church, where the priests and their families reside in the church convent, in Legio Maria, the convent remains holy. Only the priest is allowed to reside at the church convent. We do the mass every day. That's why I stay here. But my family does not stay here. In, 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 uh, in Legio Maria Church, if you are a priest, you must have your private residence where your family stays and the church residence. At the church residence, it is a matter of purity. You are not supposed to live there with your wife, but to avoid maybe, you know, the devil is a liar, quarrels or maybe uh, this temptation of intimacy. At the church compound, completely no. Father Milton Ochen prepares to officiate the Holy Communion Mass. He is in the company of his service men and women, as melodious songs voiced by elegant choir penetrates the hearts of the faithful, awaiting for spiritual nourishment. First, Father Milton seeks Mama Maria's intervention by humbling himself before the only remaining portraiture of the Holy Mother and the religious monuments of Messiah Ondeto. As a sign of pillow of faith, in absence of the priest, no one else takes up his seat. In my absence, actually, the Mass cannot be performed fully, but a deacon has an extent to which he can do the Mass but he cannot do it fully, like blessing the or a consecration. Now, when it comes to the blood and body of Jesus, the deacon cannot do that. So in, in my absence, we recite rosaries. When I'm, for example, I'm very sick, I'm away, they, they end up reciting rosaries. But there is a structure in Legio Maria that when a priest is absent, like now I'm under my bishop in this diocese, I report to my bishop, before I report to my bishop, we have a superior father. I report to him, and I tell him I'll be away. So he will assign a priest from a church where there are two to come and sit in for me. Then he will conduct the mass. But when there is no priest, 
we end up reciting rosaries, and the catechist will take over the role of, uh, of, uh, uh, of, of teaching that day. Yeah, that's why we have more than one catechist. In the event one is absent, the other one will take over. According to the dictates of Legion of Mary, the special gowns worn by the priest are only knitted by the holy mothers or the nuns. And in their absence, then the deacons assumes their roles. After 20 minutes of cleansing and spiritual intervention, the holy man of the land stands out sparkling and anointed ready to bear the burden of the faithful to the cross of Jesus. this time, the altar boys have to ensure the incense remain burning, where the candle at the holy altar, adorned by pictures of Simeon Lodvikas, must never go off. In the high mass like this one, we normally use white candles. White candles, that is why you could see everybody in the church had, uh, um, uh, we say, uh, white robes. On Sundays, it is strictly white. Except on Pentecost Sunday, okay, we use white, but uh, maybe the robes of the priest will become uh, red on Pentecost Sunday. You remember when Jesus appeared to them, or rather the Holy Spirit ascended to the apostles, it was about uh, uh, a wind, strong wind and fire. So we use red on that day. Now we have different candles that we use. The purple candles is uh, specified to St. Joseph. St. Joseph has so many things. These things we were taught by the Holy Spirit. You remember when Jesus was going away, he said, I have not accomplished my mission. I'm going away, and I will send you a helper. This helper is the Holy Spirit. Now, it is the Holy Spirit that told us about these candles. It is not that we are worshiping candles. You use that candles to represent a certain saint or a certain angel. Red represents St. Michael. When somebody is sick and may be possessed, we use red candles in our prayers. We use red candles and red vestments and we exorcise the demon. That one we represent the archangel Michael. Saint Joseph is purple. Saint Catherine is green. Saint Mary, when you want to pray for peace, we use blue. We have Saint Daniel, so many different colors. Actually, I can't finish all of them. They are different with different works. A series of prayers follows. <laughs> then the reciting of hymns as a preparation of the souls for the reception of the message from the chosen man of God. At first, the saints have to be cleansed by use of holy water. That is a blessed water. Now, you know, when people come to the church of the Lord, 
you come across so many people on your way to the church, maybe someone has messed you up, you have quarreled with somebody, you don't know what may have happened. So that holy water, we sprinkle the holy water as a sign of purifying you so that you are in the church a purified person. We are not saying by doing that we are removing your sins. It is holy water blessed. So we are purifying faithfuls so that they are in the church purified. We are supposed to give them the holy water after mass hmm, so that you go refreshed. But there are those who will never attend this mass. The sick and women who are in their menstrual period as they are termed and clean. Elizabeth Mukali says that this is instructed in the Holy Scripture. Kulingana na sheria ya wa mama ama wakina dada, wakati tuko kwa hedhi, atuwerusiwi kuingia kanisani. Iyo tunaipata kwa Biblia. Nakainje kwa siku saba, ndi una Biblia inasema uko msafi. Bada ya siku saba, unakaja, unakuja kanisani, unaenda kwa kasisi, unaenda kwa kitubio, alafu unarusiwe kuingia kanisani. In the book of Leviticus chapter 15, verse 19 states, Whenever a woman has her menstrual period, she will be ceremoniously unclean for seven days. And who touches her during that time will be unclean until evening. And verse 29 states, On the eighth day, she must bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons and present them to the priest at the entrance of the tabernacle. The altar remains holy and guarded. Even my cameraman is prohibited to move near it. Father Milton tells us that every ledge of faithful must have an altar in his or her house. Altar is the symbol of the presence of the Lord. Now, if I have an altar in my house, now when I want to pray, I will kneel down. Not that I'm kneeling down to the altar, but I'm kneeling down to a presumed presence of the Lord. You remember even Jesus, huh? in regard to that, somebody was asking me about the sacrament. He was saying, by using the sacrament, Holy Communion, we are uh, worshipping idols. It is not so. Jesus used bread to represent his body and wine to represent his blood. And he said, you shall do this so often, and as you do it, do it in memory of me. That is what we are doing in the consecration. We continue to do it in memory of Jesus. So the presence of altar in your house, that is a prayer corner where you pray. Being a symbol of God's presence in your house. Maybe, you know, the devil is a liar. You want to quarrel your child, you want to beat your child huh, out there. Then you remember, oh, the Lord is watching. You can't do that. We are compelled to stick to the guidelines and be one of them by dressing like the saints and singing along to the hymns too. In this holy mass, the service is not over until sacrament is served for the holy ones. But there are those who will never join this holy table unwedded married couples, men with the two wives. In this case, a legend Maria faithful who marries a second wife, him and the second wife are discontinued from joining the Holy Communion table, while the first wife is allowed to take the sacrament. And divorces. While the converts who join the legend, while in two wives' marriage setup, they're allowed to take Holy Sacrament. <laughs> Jo Maria, divorce is only allowed under two circumstances. First, adulterous cases and witchcraft. After two hours of spiritual nourishment, another phase of worship sets in. <laughs> A 
at this time, Father Milton heads to Mama Maria's house to put on a new face for special service, the healing session. The healing session is conducted by the Holy Spirited and ordained men known as prophets. It is believed they are mediators of God, and no one else is allowed to contradict their prophecies. The saints move around the cross as the prophets anointed with special powers and mandated for restoration of the hurting souls, the wounded, and the burdened hearts seek God's revelation. Tunamini pale, Yesu alisulubiwa kwa msalaba ako hapo 24 hours ki kiimani. Sasa wakati tunatumia hayo, katika nguvu yake anashuka na kupeana uponyaji. Kupitia kwa hayo ma, hayo maji. Na pia hapo pia tunaomba maombi ya kupatia maria musifa. Ninayo staili na ee kama mama yake Yesu. While the whole men remain standing, moving around the congregants to discharge their calling. The prophetic role in Lejo is God-given. Not even age determines one's potentials. Spirited prayers are underway. Gown in different colors, each prophet has a duty to accomplish. Those in blue bears the power of prophecy and peace restoration. The St. Michael's, also referred as the soldiers, stand conspicuously in red. This color is symbolic. They have power to exorcise demons and foretell the future by a single stare with the help of the Samson's gown in orange. Kanzu nyekundu iliaminika ni kama ya veta. Hao ndiyo upambana na mashetani. Wakiyomba, wanazivalia hiyo kama wanajeshi wakimungu, wanavalia hizo makanzu. Na sisemi ya kuamba tini lazima uwe umevaa hizo kanzu, ndipo shetani weze kutoka. Shetani anaeza toka kupitia kwa imani na kwa mao, maombi. Elizabeth Mikali's long tailored hair has never been cut for the last 11 years. It is believed to bear strength just like that of Samson from the Bible. The St. Michael's soldiers move around prescribing the dosage for every faithful, depending on their ailment. <laughs> Thereafter, a young dreaded prophet interprets the scribes. This is a miracle that even congregants can't comprehend. The healing goes on from the young to the old, women to men, everyone patiently awaiting to receive the healing. This is the time rosaries carry a deeper meaning. We have different miseries. Use the necessary miseries at the right time. That kind of witch or, or, or whatever the witchcraft that has been used will disappear. Yeah, so this rosary is powerful. The intensive prayer session gets tighter at the time of transfiguration of the men of God came. <laughs> The Bible describes how during the Pentecost day, the Holy Spirit descended in form of a strong wind. But here, the Holy Spirit is different. The presence of doves is an indicator that there is a spiritual presence. They stand patiently witnessing the unfolding miracles 
and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. As the Holy Spirit descends, men and women are struck one after the other, rolling on the ground. For those believed to be capped in the arms of the Lucifer, it is hard time for them. For this young boy, it was not a service as normal. He is caught unaware. It is said that his entire stay on earth was in control of the Lucifer angels. <laughs> It is a battle of the spirits, a one-hour battle with the fierce demons. All the powerful spirited men of God converge to beef up the fight for redemption of this young soul. But he is not alone in this war. Women are not spared as well. <laughs> Exorcising demons is termed as the most hectic and dreadful exercise. Hata wale wanafungo, mawazimu wanafungo wanakamba. Hua anaaja hapa wanaombe wanarudi kama wanatembea. Shida ni to mingi, ambayo uwa wanaombewa, wanapona. Sio walejo tu. The prophets stand unmoved in this tense battle. When they finally come to their senses, the saints believe they are now delivered from the demons. They can't even recall the battle they were entangled with hours ago. The dusted clothes remain the indicator of the weight of the war. As the session nears the end, time for holy healing by use of holy water begins. As it is in the scriptures, in the book of John chapter 4 verse 14, But whoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him as a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The Bible records that John the Baptist immersed those who came unto him and they were made clean again. In Legio Maria, the holy book is followed to the latter. The faithful are served holy water, believed to heal stomach-related diseases and headache. The young saints lays the distribution to ensure everyone gets a dose. The chosen holy prophets dust off the dark spirits from the saints by washing them using holy water and the rosaries. That holy water they were being given is a healing water. People don't believe, but for us we believe. Once it is boiled to the boiling point, there is a special blessing done by the priest. After that blessing, faithfuls can be given that water. It is a healing water. That's why you could see people scrambling for it. They know this small, small illness 
like maybe stomach problem what what it is a healing water wale wanasafishwa unaweza pata sio wote ni wale wameelezewa na roho mtakatifu ule anastahili kusafishwa na hiyo dawa kutokana maybe kuna ugonjwa inakuja ama kuna ugonjwa ndani yake ili weze kupo kuponywa as it is in other churches where the followers pronounce the bestowed blessings before the congregations in Legio Maria no testimonies or confessions are done at the church this is only done in secrecy I think that one in most cases it has resulted to hypocrisy because someone will just want to 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 make people happy now for example people when they give testimony openly uh, they want to say how they were saved and then you say for instance like me I was a fornicator I've been sleeping with this woman just imagine if the husband of that woman is in the church are you bringing peace or chaos definitely it is chaos that is why according to Legio Maria we do it like catholic the catholic way because we are an offshoot from the roman catholic you go to a priest you confess then you are given some prayers to say and you are forgiven what does it help to come and shout your sins in front of people people will know you and not many people will pardon you if you say you have been having an affair with my wife and i was in church and you say several times will i pardon you in my heart i can even desert from that church so we prefer somebody to give his testimony to the priest not necessarily to people why do you give it to people it is only god who can forgive you not the people you are talking about <laughs> In our next episode, we pitch our tents in Luoland, dissecting the proclaimed betrayal and massacre of the legend Luanda Magere. As they say, religion does not choose people, but people choose religion. The saints of Legion Maria, commonly known as Legion Maria, are living according to the scriptures. Reporting for Culture Quest, I'm Levis Msumba.